We turn now to an ABC News exclusive, an interview with the family of Travis King. That's the American soldier who's held in communist North Korea after running across the border from the south. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. In an ABC News exclusive, the family of missing U.S. Army Private Travis King speaking out as he remains detained in North Korea. It feels like I'm in a big nightmare. Last month, the 23-year-old soldier was supposed to board a flight back to the U.S. after serving time in a South Korean jail following a physical altercation. But instead of getting on that plane, Pentagon officials say King left the airport and joined a tour of the Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, the heavily fortified border area that separates North and South Korea. King reportedly pictured here, dressed in black, moments before authorities say he deliberately sprinted across the border, taken into custody by North Koreans and driven away in a van. Travis would not just go over the border like that. He's the type of kid he would have wanted to come home. King's family says his mental health had declined prior to his disappearance. His uncle telling ABC he said he was experiencing racism during his military deployment and that after he spent time in jail, he didn't sound like himself. I was like, you okay? And he's, he's telling me, no, they're trying to kill me. And he's saying things like, said they're racist. I don't know, it made me seem like some, something was going on with him. His mother saying she received a disturbing phone call in the middle of the night. He just called and he just screamed, I'm not the army soldier you want me to be. I'm not the army soldier you want me to be. And he kept screaming that out loud. And then all of a sudden the phone hung up and then they were taking him to the hospital. King's family is desperate for answers, calling on the U.S. government to help bring him home. The administration says they're doing what they can. This week for the first time, North Korea confirmed that they are holding King. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.